Welcome to the Corporate Cosmo video. This is Nan Ross. Today I'm going to show you how to import your blog or RSS feed into your Facebook page. Um, this is a great way to promote your blog and encourage your blog readers to join a more niche group where they can interact with the uh, other members of your fan page or business page and connect with other people. So are you ready? Okay. Now, I recently just took off my notes um, on my page just to give you guys the, the step by step um, um, tutorial on how to do it. So, okay, so underneath your company's logo there is a link to edit page. Okay, so you want to click on that. And this section here is where you can change your settings, um, add applications, edit applications. Um, right here is your notes application, which is standard on your your business page and even also on your personal profile page. So right in here, you want to click on this little icon that looks you know similar to a pencil. So you click on that and you want to click on edit okay now when you get to this section you will not see anything on this left side um, the only reason why you see this here is because I completely deleted but it still has my previous blog post but I want you to concentrate on the right hand side on the note setting and you want to click on import a blog and right in here you want to put your your blog address feed, feed owner com forward slash corporate corporate cosmo Okay, that is my URL, uh, my RSS URL address. Um, and then you want to click on this checkbox which allows you to give permission for Facebook to present your content and to make sure it's not illegal or obscene. Then you want to click on Start Importing. Okay, I got an import fail. Come to find out that I miss an additional slash. Let's try this again. Okay, it says you successfully imported your blog, but of course I didn't see any new posts as of yet. And I want to hit continue. and voila it's right there so I'm going to go back to the corporate Cosmo page okay I'm looking down okay I don't see it yet hmm so there's another step you have to go back into your edit page because right now you just set up your RSS feed. Now it's time for you to show it onto your page. And you are going to have two options um, to show it on the notes, on the tab, or on the wall. And I'll show you the difference. So I'm going to go back into my notes, click on this little pencil icon again, go to application settings. and here you have your two options the box which shows on the sidebar on the tab that shows on the top I'm going to add it onto the tab that's just my personal preference you can add it into the box 
I'm going to hit um, additional permission to make sure that is checked. So every time you update your notes or streams from your RSS feed, it will post and uh, publish to your stream. You want to click on OK. Okay, let's go back up. I'm going to click on View Page to see if it's there. And voila! Here's my notes that's on my tab. And there you go. These are my um, blog posts. And on over here, we'll show you a list of all my blog posts onto my on my website. And I tell you that was easy. If you go back to the wall, um, and if you choose, um, if we go back to edit page and back into the notes and choose box, it will show on your sidebar right over here. But I choose to keep it on my tab bar. And that is it. Um, if you have any additional questions, please email me at nanvars at corporatecosmo.com. And thanks for watching the video, and you have a great day. Bye.